Displayed in Gallery 27 in the West Building of the National Gallery of Art is Four Seasons in One Head, painted by the Italian artist Giuseppe Arcimbaldo around 1590 and gifted to the writer Don Gregorio Comanini. It is oil painted upon poplar wood panels and is approximately 60 by 45 centimeters in size. This piece is one of the last that Archimboldo painted before his death in 1593. It is considered to be the pinnacle of his life as an artist. It combines elements from a series of four portraits from the ha Habsburg patrons, each representing a court member of one of the four seasons, winter, autumn, summer, and spring. However, the figure in this work is not a member of the royal court shown in the profile, but rather considered to be a three-quarters view of the artist himself in the winter of his life. We can immediately see that the face and body of the figure are made from a tree trunk, knotted and without any leaves or fruit. Shadowed holes represent the mouth and eyes, and a protruding branch represents the nose. This is Arch Archimboldo's representation of the fruitless season of winter, and parallels the gnarled trunk of his winter piece. It is significant that the body itself, the major aspect of this work, is winter, because the artist painted this at the end of his life where, just like winter, he is producing less and depending more heavily on what has been produced by the previous seasons. Traveling upwards, we can see more branches reaching out like horns from the figure's forehead, and among them rest various fruits. Two bundles of grapes hang off to the left, apples and plums rest to the right. These fruits symbolize and emulate his vision of autumn. By placing the symbols of autumn upon the figure's head, Archimbaldo might be indicating the tiredness of harvest that is weighing down on him in the final years of his life. Aspects from Archimbaldo's summer are also seen emulated within this final work. A cloak of wheat covers the man's shoulders, and two brightly painted cherries act as earrings hanging to the right side of his face. Similarly, in the summer piece, the figure has many cherries and wears in an outfit made entirely of wheat. Summer is typically thought to represent adulthood and the passion of indulgence. It would make sense for these elements to shroud over the youth and innocence that became before the spring. This leads us to the final season in the work. You will notice that the man in this work is depicted wearing a shirt composed of bright blooming flowers done in shades of white, red, and pink. While most of the work is painted with duller, earthy tones, these flowers help to break up the overall darkness in the piece. Despite this, they do not become the immediate focus since the flowers appear at the bottom of the panel, below your direct line of sight, and are dominated so heavily by the other seasons. Archimboldo buries the spring underneath the summer wheat to emphasize his loss of youth. Archimboldo is often regarded as a master of mannerism, a style characterized by exaggeration and extreme refinement of the human form. In four seasons, this creates a technically complex reimagining of figural composition typical for mannerist indulgence in the grotesque and bizarre. We can see mannerism employed by Michelangelo in The Last Judgment. Here figures are arranged in exaggerated, grotesque positions highlighted by the extreme muscularity of their bodies. These two works, despite their vastly different subject matters, both use mannerism to obscure the linear perspective of the High Renaissance in order to create the illusion that the figures are decoratively arranged upon a flat background. Ultimately, Archimboldo sought to show the close relationship between humans and nature through his artwork. Archimboldo used four seasons in one head to represent himself as a being created from all four seasons. The youth of spring, adulthood of summer, middle years of autumn, and finally the old age of winter.